Hello, it's Natalie here. Welcome to our five top tips for facilitation video series. In this video, I will be talking about how to make sure that you are aware of everything and everyone in the teaching space. And then how to use that awareness to monitor and influence student energy levels. This technique is also referred to as reading the room. This essentially means the ability to pick up on small signals that might tell you what the moods of your participants may be that day and how best to suit your energy to complement theirs. This is why it is useful to have the group you are teaching or working with stand in a circle as this allows you to see all of your students at once as well as creating an atmosphere of equality in the space. It is the responsibility of the facilitator to be able to assess when different types of exercises are needed. This is to ensure that you can maintain the appropriate energy levels among the students to suit the task that you are asking them to complete. Different exercises will have different outcomes depending on the students. For example, an energizer activity raises the energy and often the mood of the group, which you may need when motivation is lacking. By simply being aware of this, you can adapt your own practice to include these types of activities. Energizers are games or activities that get students up on their feet and moving. It essentially wakes them up. This can be used at the start of a session to obtain their initial engagement in the space or midway through a session to refocus and rebuild the energy to get it back up to the necessary standard. Examples of these types of activities could include zip zap boing, splat, Buzzy Bees or Grandma's Footsteps. You can find demonstrations on these activities in our other YouTube series, Enrich Facilitation, along with some possible extension exercises. Of course, occasionally a student will just be having a bad day and not want to interact as much as usual. In this case, it is important for the facilitator to be aware of it, acknowledge it and accept it. The offer to interact should always be there, but so should the option not to. So, now if you could look at one of your own lesson plans and identify a moment where an energizer activity could be useful and then maybe try one out when you next get the chance. We hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.